Yes, my friend. You are coming from India. Yes, doctor. We will not mention uh, your name, anything, but uh, we want to share your experiences with everyone. Uh, you, you have a varicose embolization before. Yes, doctor. And although you have the embolization, you had a recurrence of varicose, which was 3.7 millimeter in one part, in left side, and 3 millimeter in the right side, uh, as far as I remember. You know, 3.3 in the left. Did you have the embolization only in the left side or both sides? Doctor, only on the left side. On the le left side. side. And this part, you have 3.3 millimeter vein. Yes. But in the right side, you have 3.7 millimeter, very large veins. Yes. Uh, and now we have the procedure and after the procedure, everything is well now, good now, and there is no large veins. How did you understand you have the recurrence? or? What was your complaint before the first embolization? How did you understand you had the varicocele? So, uh, so Dr. Varicocele, I mean, it just started as a sharp uh, pain almost uh, two and a half years ago. Yeah. And uh, I also want to mention this because, and I want your opinion. I think for me, this started because I used to, for six, seven, eight years, I used to wear boxers. So I think my mm. genitalia was not supported. Yeah. And especially during COVID, I think mm. I was just, I think this is why it's, I, 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 this is the reason in your opinion, right? I, I think because now when I look back, I was like, it was just hanging like yeah. during the, this yeah. and, and it was totally fine. And then the pain developed. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when I went to first series of doctors. That's when I knew something like varicocele exists. Yeah. Uh, that time initially the doctor said, uh, you don't need surgery, just wear supportive underwear. But it was still a lot of pain, a lot of pain, especially yeah. on the left hand side. Yeah. And then... Actually, most of my surgeons that time in India recommended a ligation, but mm -hmm. I did an em embolization thinking yeah. it's minimal. So, but we did it only on the left side. In my opinion, they both of them have the same success rate. It is 70%. Okay. Even the embolization is good for 70% of patients. It solves the problem completely. And same in the open surgery, microscopic surgery, it's the same. It's the same. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. And I, because I remember when I did the embolization and that time when they do it under the machines and the scans because it's yeah. you're not in general anesthesia and they also check the right hand side and the doctor said that your right hand your right side there is no varicocele yeah. which yeah. Uh, so that's why it was only on the Actually, left side. They are radiologists. They are the experts in this uh, ultrasound everything. So uh, I'm sure they did some ultrasonography, right? And they didn't see anything on the right side. The radiologists were different and all of those scans definitely said left, my report said more left side yeah. and maybe mild on the right side and then on the surgery time there was the doctor who was doing the embolization and then I think they had the radiologists because they had the machines and everything and they yeah. said the right hand side is fine mm -hmm. and in my initial reports my left hand side had a grade 1 or grade 2 but yeah. when the doctor performed the embolization said this is a very big grade 3 or mm -hmm. a grade 4 and you've had it for many many years. Yeah. Uh, so, so this is, uh, if, if it is really grade 1 or 2, it would be better because the recurrence risk of grade 1, 2 is less than grade Therefore. 4. Uh, so you had the embolization, but it was a large vein, so it had the recurrence. Uh, the embolization basically it, it, it reduced the pain a little, like that time I used to feel a sharp pain that used to go all the way up. Mm -hmm. That reduced, it felt like it stopped in my ground area, yeah. but it was... It made a difference, it, but, uh, and it's not like I was completely fine and then the pain came back. Yeah. After the embolization, I felt 50% better, but then it felt the same. And yeah. uh, Actually, it, the embolization can touch to internal veins, uh, not to external veins and gubernacular veins. And I, in my opinion, most of the time, 50% of the veins are internal, 50% of the veins are external and gubernacular. So that's why maybe you had 50% uh, uh, improvement. Yeah. Yeah. Doctor, my case, yeah. did we also remove some of the external and the, g g g the other veins or only the internal veins were yeah. ligated and yeah. removed? The main ones, the main uh, bigger ones were both internal and external, but they were small and around the testicle, they were covering the testis. So both gubernacular, external and the internal. I was expecting to find nothing internal because mm -hmm. they do the embolization, but they are always in communication. They are always uh, junked to each other. So uh, there was always also veins in the internal part too, and also in the external part. So uh, after the embolization, how did you understand that you had the recurrence? 
because of I just it didn't address the pain and uh, doctor like when I spoke to you also like uh, I have been have been in immense amount of pain discomfort it's mm-hmm. greatly affected my standard of life because like I'm someone who's active I play sports go to the gym because I I just can't because I'm in pain when I'm sitting and I'm walking I'm in pain like my friend knows because yeah. I keep crying to him it's so much pain walk if I would stand for more than 5 minutes I'd be in pain so like I was like I can't do anything so I was like yeah. so then I like I and the doctors the embolize they said that the embolization was fine that you don't have aricocil you have very mild which after embolization yeah. basically all the doctors in india said the the varicocil is fine it is mild that is not the reason for your pain but i was in a lot of pain yeah. and then they gave me medicines for nerve pain pregabalin yeah. i took an injection also like a yes. nerve sperm cord did none of none of that helped me yeah. so i knew there was a problem i knew it was still varicocil like mm-hmm. because it felt like that old blood stagnating and that pain and i could at night you feel the veins and everything but the top best urologists in, in none of them were telling me it's varicocil they all were telling me it's fine also my sperm tests they who said was, who who did find this uh, large veins who was the, the because there when you sent me a report which shows the large veins uh, who find it that was a radiologist Okay. But this is the same report that I was showing my other because I went to different mm. and they were like no it's fine it's it's normal it's not mm. this is not the reason cause for the pain maybe in the standing up position when we do the doppler we see these veins they were large and in the operation I find these large That veins is. so it's always difficult it's always tricky uh, not easy because uh, it may change from time to time in the morning they may be a little shrinken uh, and if afternoon they were be wider Uh, sometimes your body is uh, trembling or cold or such things may also decrease the size of the vein uh, but you had the pain and you understand that you had the uh, recurrence and yeah. we find them we, we cured it in i have certain some cases uh, who even uh, we treat the varicose very nicely like yourself the embolization doctors think like this even they do the treatment and uh, it's cured 100% some of the people have continuous pain so uh, i begin to think what's the reason why they are still having the pain even they have no varicose cell and i understand that this has the same pain is also caused by prostatitis so i begin to search if such cases have prostatitis and find out in some cases varicose cell finished there was prostatitis when we treat the prostatitis he get rid of all of the uh, mm-hmm. complaints so, uh, so i begin to do prostate check in every varicose cell case after the procedure finish uh, we put our finger from anus and compress the prostate and try to see if any fluid is coming out so we did the same for yourself too and uh, because maybe your problems your complaints are all related to another reason not varicose another reason it may be prostatitis in your case we didn't find large amounts of fluid coming out so we didn't think it is related to prostatitis but still sometimes we compress the prostate and the fluid may not go out may go to bladder so still there is a small risk that you may have prostatitis what will happen if you have prostatitis now we cleaned it it's over but a couple of months later it may fill again it, if if it comes back again after for example three uh, healthy months three months you will feel nothing then if the pain comes again this may be because of prostatitis and in that case i try to explain people how to do the prostate massage themselves i have videos on that you can do the prostate massage yourself you can put your finger through anus and squeeze Season. the prostate and try to uh, take out the fluid inside the prostate and it will help you i hope it will not be needed uh, and it will be not necessary but if the pain comes back after a couple of months of course you will do a doppler again to control uh, the success of our operation but you may have prostatitis uh, after treating this prostatitis my 
success rate increased dramatically because even you post, even you treat the varicose cell, some of the people continue to have pain, and prostatitis solve most of them. Yeah. There is a very little uh, rate of uh, amount of people, let's say, uh, maybe if two percent, three percent cases, very little amount of people, they still have continuous pain after varicose cell surgery, after embolization, after prostatitis. Although we do everything, very, very little uh, portion does not heal from all of this. I hope for everyone not to be in that small Small part. Uh, And for yourself, we are always uh, afraid that you may be in this part but all of the things uh, shows us that you will not be in that part we, we, we are waiting uh, to see the results thank you doctor thank you doctor yeah. so if you have any concerns ask this questions please and i can answer uh doctor i have a few questions i mean first i i want to i want to thank musa like uh, i stumbled across your video because i was like trying to find ways and it was yeah he was very prompt and uh, I felt good the first time when I spoke to you and like I told my family that, you know, nothing in India is giving me any answers. So this and I felt very confident, uh, especially Samir is my good friend and like cause it's a big decision coming from India yes, over here. Very, it's, very it's another I've seen the videos of the operation. It's uh, but so far I'm. It's uh, you've been wonderful. Musa has been wonderful. Uh, the hospital was wonderful. Uh, you coming, checking in on us, uh, this and like I know you mentioned things like you feel like it's a family, and I want to be part of the family because I know what I've gone through. I still don't like I still tell me I still have the pain. I want to start enjoying after I know that it is fine because uh, it changes me as a person being in this pain and sure. not finding the solution. So I want to like yeah you. Please continue doing what you're doing because there are people who are looking for we this kind follow. of... We really have to see the results. Is, the results know. may come. I, I expect the results to come and you, you I ex- expect you to feel comfortable 100% after two weeks. After two weeks. Uh, for two weeks there will be some uh, pain, some discomfort. Yeah, the puffiness to, on top. Yeah, related to procedure. After two, three weeks uh, the results uh, will come uh, hopefully. And yeah. We will yeah, see. We will we'll be in touch. Yes, okay. Doctor. And in general, I mean, at least those are the same questions in terms yeah. of so for one month, take it completely easy, yeah. minimal exercise, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then for one month, do nothing. Okay. After one month, uh, you will be more free to do uh, some sports, some walking, jogging, such running, such things. But for weightlifting, mm-hmm. uh, wait, wait yeah. until you are completely yeah. free of pain. Everything yeah. went well then you can start such things. So, so doctor, so like four months, five months, I'm completely pain free. You're saying it is, oh, considering I've had varicose, considering I have lesser weights, it's okay for me to go to, go to the gym and lift weights or would you say to just avoid? Uh, yeah, no, actually for the recurrent cases, I am always very conservative mm-hmm. and uh, try to be very confident and try to keep you away from sports as long as possible. But uh, maybe in... For after four months, if the results come negative for varicose cell and if you have no pain, nothing, everything is smooth, then you can start gradually. Okay. Maybe s- avoid heavy squats, but I can do like yes. uh, exercise. Uh, without okay. increasing the abdominal pressure. Okay. And so, doctor, also I like trekking and walking a lot. So yeah. once that is fine, I can go on long These hikes. Are free, but see, still you are a recurrent case. Be careful. After three months, yeah, four months, yes. when it's four months, it's more safe. Okay. So in the long term, if I'm feeling better, I don't have to do major lifetime changes. Just no, you will live a normal life. Nothing yeah. is forbidden. Forbidden. After, after you are completely free of everything. Yeah. And do you, even if I'm pain free, do you recommend every six months or one year to do a Doppler test or? If you are pain free, not needed. Okay. If you have some symptoms, yeah, you have to do. Okay. And doctor, in terms of like, uh, is alcohol very bad for me if I drink occasionally or is it? Nothing special is uh, forbidden or unnecessary or necessary. Just live a normal Normal life life. like normal. And And doctor, I I also smoke. Of course, we have to consider India as a spicy (laughs) heaven. So maybe the spicy foods, Mm. uh, especially if it comes out, it's a prostatitis. If you have some prostate inflammation, you have to be aware away from 
spicy foods and uh, fizzy drinks until you heal completely. Complete. But uh, when you do the massage yourself, when you feel confident that the pain is gone, uh, you can live a normal life. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, doctor. And I also, Musa, if any patient, anyone who wants to also connect with me, I'm happy to share Thank my you. experience. Thank you. Yeah, it's important like, because if really uh, India and Turkey, similar countries, yeah. we are not very rich countries. Uh, and people have too much concern to, to, uh, for the travel fees, such things. They may ask such questions to you because we, we know the operating fee, but for traveling from India, coming here, yeah. living you know, at the hotel, uh, they may ask questions. Thank you very much, much for letting us share the ideas. Most Thank welcome. You. And I also feel like, uh, because when I was seeing your cases, different people, you know, describe the pain differently. Yeah. So like I like you know that's why I'm happy to like talk to people like what the pain was for me or yeah. what the journey was because I think yes. people who've had it can relate to each other like yes. Yes. what yes. was the this and everything. Yeah. Thank you very much, yes. my friend. Thank okay. you for sharing these Thank thoughts. You. Thank you.